Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about IDW Publishing and how it might be uh, pencils down for the entire company at this point. Uh, I don't think this is going to end very well for IDW. The comic book publisher has had a lot of financial problems over the last couple of years. It's been very well documented. Um, they've been slipping further and further into debt and they've been holding out for streaming. They kept telling investors that once they got their series picked up that uh, the streaming revenue and the merchandise was going to be what saved IDW. And now there's word from The Hollywood Reporter that two of IDW's series that they've been touting for months, years, have been canceled. V Wars and October Faction were canceled after just one season on Netflix. Now, Lock and Key still continues into a second season. We actually tried watching Lock and Key. I thought it was kind of boring. Uh, I didn't like any of the characters. I'm like, I'm not feeling it. I was hoping for like a Stranger Things kind of a vibe uh, from the show. And I, I just, I found the characters to be very, very annoying. So anyway, we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about what this could potentially mean for IDW. V Wars and October Faction canceled at Netflix exclusive from The Hollywood Reporter. Both dramas produced by IDW Entertainment ran for only one season in this on the streamer. That's actually bad even for Netflix. Usually Netflix will give a show, you know, a season or two before they pull the plug. But um, I think IDW was bankrolling these themselves. I'm not 100% sure what was going on. So two of Netflix's three IDW produced drama series are no longer moving forward. Fresh off of Lock and Key's renewal, the streamer has opted to cancel its two remaining comic-inspired shows from the publisher as both V Wars and October Faction will not move forward. V Wars and October Faction both ran for one season each after launching December 5th and January 23rd, respectively. The cancellations arrive as Netflix, which does not release viewership, continues to make renewal and cancellation decisions based on internal viewing data versus cost. This is very important. Cost. The streamer reviews the returns and considers if the financial investment in another season will be valuable to its subscribers or if those funds would be better served with new content that draws more viewing and signups to its service. Uh, v Wars and October Faction became the latest one and done dramas at Netflix, joining recently canceled series including Messiah, AJ and the Queen, Spinning Out, Soundtrack and Daybreak, among others. They're looking for another Stranger Things. They're looking for another Stranger Things. And they're not they're not finding it now. Apparently, Lock and Key is uh, getting a little more buzz. They did promote that one pretty heavily in the comic series is, is pretty well known. V Wars and October Faction, I never heard of. I never heard of either of those comics. Uh, well, I know not Earp I'd even heard of, but I never heard of V Wars and October Faction. So V Wars was picked up straight to series in April 2018 with former Vampire Diaries favorite uh, Ian Summerholder attached to Star. The effort was based on IDW Publishing's V Wars franchise, written by New York Times bestselling author Jonathan Mabry, Mabry. Uh, High Park Entertainment produced alongside IDW, which distributed the series worldwide. Blah 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 blah. Um. So yeah, it didn't it didn't do well. So V Wars on Rotten Tomatoes had a 56% critical score and a 96% audience score. Was IDW pad those numbers trying to justify its existence? I don't know. Um, October Faction did not do well. 33% and 49% audience score. Yeah, neither one of them got renewed. So why did uh, why did Lock and Key get renewed? Well, I, I know Lock and Key, it took them forever to get it to screen. It was like a 10-year process. They finally got it uh, on the small screen. I just, I didn't care for it. I didn't care for it. A return date for the series is unclear as TV and film production remains mostly shut down because of that thing we can't talk about. Yeah, so uh, Lock and Key is still moving forward eventually some point. We don't know when. So let's talk about IDW. So IDW is not in a good place right now. Uh, definitely not in a good place right now. They lost $26.4 in 2019. Okay, so let's let's put this in perspective idw has been hemorrhaging money for years they were holding out they had to refinance there were um some of their uh money people were suggesting that they sell the company they reorganized multiple times what they were waiting for was streaming they thought streaming was going to save them they thought these tv shows uh streaming shows i guess can we call it tv now i don't know what we call it uh these shows were going to save the company that they were going to be massive hits they were going to save the company and that did not happen um so idw continues to hemorrhage money and idw is going to hemorrhage more money because the comic book industry is basically uh ground to a halt 
at this point. Diamond is not taking shipments of new books. They're not releasing payments to publishers. So IDW has got no comic book money coming in that, that we're aware of. You know, they don't have a lot of comic book money coming in, maybe graphic novels, whatever, but that's, I mean, $26 million in the hole. Uh, comic book, this is coming from uh, Bleeding Cool. This was a couple of months ago. IDW's Q4 2019 financial report was released uh, this week. That would have been in January, showing that IDW Media Holdings as a whole lost $26.4 million on a revenue of $62.6 million. IDW Publishing, the part that makes the comic books, lost $5.2 million on their own. So just the comic books lost $5 million. I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, how? How did you lose that much money? They really don't publish a lot, do they? I mean, they publish, you know, some Transformers books and they publish Turtles and they publish Sonic the Hedgehog. But how do you lose $5 million on comic books? Revenue for the publisher was down slightly from 2018 at $20.1 million. IDW Entertainment, the part that makes the television shows, lost $19.8 million. Even CTM, IDW's travel brochure printing business, posted a loss of $1.3 million in 2019. Uh, despite it all, IDW remains optimistic in a statement. Okay, this is what they're banking on. Um, this is what they're banking on. They're talking about V Wars, and they're talking about October Faction, and they're talking about Netflix, and uh, it's not going to happen for them, is it? It's not going to happen for them. In the fourth quarter of 2019, revenue was boasted by delivery of V Wars and the majority of October Faction episodes to Netflix. Canceled. Canceled. Uh, while the legacy production finance agreements utilized for these shows and production costs averages resulted in significant losses okay um so they lost a lot of money making these shows chasing these shows and they don't even have anything to show for it because they were one and done um idw is on track to attain steadily profitable operations in 2021 well you know they might have they might have uh except this happened right all the comic shops shut down diamond is not taking new books it is pencils down across the entire industry and just a couple days ago idw said they're suspending physical comics coming out in may and holding them for future releases this includes star wars adventures number one which might have actually sold some some copies right maybe possibly i don't i don't know uh the move comes as no surprise as comic stores across the globe have shut down because that thing we can't talk about Stores are being impacted with fewer or no sales and no timeline as to when they'll reopen along with other measures to help store owners. Suspending physical comics when stores might still be closed will bring new customers to shops in the future. It might not even come out until like this fall, you know? Um, there, look, uh, IDW, is in, IDW is at the top of my list for publishers that will probably fold during the shutdown. I don't see how they can stay in business. I really don't, I have no idea. I mean, where's the money coming from? They're not making it in streaming. They're not making it in comics. They're hemorrhaging money year over year. I think they're done. I think IDW is done. Now, disclaimer, I did some work for IDW a couple of years ago. I never had any problems with them. Um, I never really did. The editors I worked with, I thought were pretty good. And uh, I never had any problems with the company. I like some of the people over there, but I did have a hard time getting paid. And that was like five years ago. I think it was like five years ago. And that wasn't a good sign. You know, as a freelancer, when you have to chase somebody, um, you have to chase them for a couple months to get paid. Even back then, even before it came out that they were having financial problems, that's not usually a very good sign. And, uh, you know, I think they're just, they've been holding out for Hollywood and it's not going to happen for them, is it? Uh, so it's, it's too bad. Too bad. So we're going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. And we'll talk to you guys later. Thinking about printing your own comic books, graphic novel, or manga? We recommend our friends over at Print Ninja. We've been using Print Ninja as long as they've been printing comics and both the quality and price is excellent. Mention Clownfish TV and get an additional 5% overrun of your book order quantity printed for free. For free! That's free books, people. Just mention this offer on the phone or in the additional information box on the quote request form. That's PrintNinja.com or click on the link in the description below. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to ClownfishSupport.com. That's ClownfishSupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to ClownfishTalk.com. That's ClownfishTalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.